Hey all, Mr. Richard Bill here. This lesson is about uh, fiber optics and prisms. So this is the lesson for fiber optics and prisms. We'll help you with that worksheet. So a fiber optic cable The prisms piece, you should be okay with based on the lesson we had yesterday. So again, prisms is where your white is going in at some angle, it's bending across, and then it's bending back out. So you should be okay there. The key is finding those interior angles and trying to get out on the other side. So the homework tonight for fiber optics and prisms has, I believe, three prism problems, which you should already be okay with. The real key is just figuring out where is my um, normal and as you know, is light bending towards the normal or away from it and trying to kind of figure that out. The real um, material in this lesson is the fiber optic piece. This is the one problem that you don't know how to do yet. So how does a fiber optic cable work? What happens is, is most of you guys have seen this in class. I took a laser and I shine the laser kind of in here. And as the light went in, that laser bent in, it refracts towards the normal. Um, but then here's the key. Once it gets up here, if it's done right, and the cable isn't crimped, the light, even though this thing is clear, can't get out. Why? Because when it hits up here in yellow, it's beyond the critical angle. So what happens is, is you get internal reflection. Well, then it hits over here and guess what? It, it wants to get out, but it can't get out. So each time it keeps hitting, at angles bigger than the critical angle until it gets over here. And now that angle, because the normal is now sideways again, that normal angle is small enough to where the light will bend back out. So about um, right when, when that light bends back out, that's because it's at an angle smaller than the critical angle. Um, okay, so we've just got to figure out the, the this problem is basically saying, Hey, look, I know that if I shine light straight in, it'll go straight in. I also know that as I start to move out, let's do green, it'll bend in and I'll be okay. But what if I get out here at blue? What if I get way out here at blue? See, light always bends into the material. If I get out here at blue, though, and it bends closer to the normal, that's okay. But what if this angle is too small up here? If that angle is too small, the light's gone. So the question is, determine the maximum angle that light can enter. Remember, everything's measured to the normal. So what's the biggest angle over here I can do from the normal and still get light to stay in. So determine the maximum angle. So why is it maximum? Because what's gonna happen again is I'll draw this in black. If this angle over here gets too big, as the light goes, it will bend in, but it makes this angle too small, right? Obviously, if I'm right on the normal, it goes in. I want to find what's going to cause internal reflection up there. So what is this going to look like in your homework? What is this going to look like in your test? How is this problem going to look? Because your homework has three prisms you already know how to do, and one fiber optic cable that looks like this. We're going to look at just this end here. What does that end look like? So I'm just going to make it look like a rectangle. Nothing fancy here. And I want to know how big of an angle here in black, this angle theta, can I have to go into this material? How big can that be? Because again, I know if it gets too big, it goes in, but then it goes out. And I don't want that. I want to cause internal reflection. Well, this problem isn't super difficult, but why it's difficult for students is because when they look at it, all they see is this. And you're like, I have no angles anywhere. Maybe critical angles in there, but where? Because I'm going into the material. 
So this one isn't super difficult, but it is just to start. What you To start this, you have to imagine what's happening. Light wants to go straight, but it's going to bend closer to the normal. Okay, so there goes light bending closer to the normal. Then it hits, the light hits over here, and it's going to try to go out, but we don't want it to go out. We want it to, to reflect back down. Okay, so in order to do that, what I'm really going to do is try to figure out the angle here. That angle in red is critical to this working out. If I can find the angle in red, I can get the angle in blue. If I can get the angle in blue, I get the angle in black, and I win. So how do I get the angle in red? Well, red is the critical angle. And you guys know how to get critical angle. To find critical angle red, I'm going to do 1.2 sine theta critical equals 1 sine 90. And when I do this, get my calc out here. I get 56.44 degrees. We'll just do 56.4 degrees. That's fine. That's my critical angle for the material. Now, that's not going to help me. That doesn't really get me the black angle yet, but it's going to get me started, right? So 56.4 degrees is this angle. Let me make it yellow. It's this angle right here, the critical angle. Well, now if I can use some geometry, see, the middle step is always geometry with these things. I do Snell's law, geometry, Snell's geometry. If I can do a little geometry, I can figure out the blue angle. With the blue angle, I can get the black angle. So what's the blue angle? Well, the cool thing is, is that this little triangle in here, these two normals make a right triangle. So if the normals make a right triangle, my second step is just to say, well, hey, look, 180 minus 56.4, Minus 90, that's this angle right here, equals theta blue. So theta blue is just the complementary angle to the 56.4, which is 34.6. Awesome. So if that's 34.6, I'm ready to be done. Because now my third step is to go ahead and solve. 1, 1 sine theta I'm looking for equals 1.2 sine 34.6. And now... When I do that, I get, let's see, what do I get? Mm -hmm. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, 42.95, about 43 degrees. And that's my the black angle there, 43 degrees, which is really kind of cool because what that tells you is actually, the answer is 43. But what it tells you is I could be 43 degrees above. I could be 43 degrees below. I really have 86 degrees of freedom to move around in all directions, like a cone, 86 degrees of kind of wiggle room and still get the light to internally reflect inside there. So 43 degrees measured from the normal in any direction. And I'm, I'm home free. I win, which is really cool because I have a lot of wiggle room to get the light in and keep it in. The, the cable can kind of bend and weave. But as long as I don't get any angles um, along the way for the light of smaller than 56.4, as long as the light doesn't strike any wall at an angle of smaller than 56.4, it stays in. So pretty cool. That's how to do the fiber optic cable. You find the critical angle up here to get the angle here, to get the angle here, it's working backwards. Cool. Okay. Now for the prisms, you just got to get it done. You got three prism problems. Do the best you can. Uh, get that angle in. Do your geometry to get the angle on the other side. And then try to get out as best you can. And if you get undefined, it might be reflecting internally. And that's a little bit tricky. Do the best you can. And we'll go over that um, the week after next during the review week. So we've got next week with mirrors and lenses. And then we've got a, a test on day three. Um, which would be the 27th, maybe, uh, February the 27th. So we've got February, goodness gracious, April the 27th. Where am I? Um, so you've got time to prepare for that. Next week is mirrors and lenses. Then we've got two days to prepare for the test, and test will be on day three of the week after next. Today is April 11th. Tomorrow is the 12th, according to when I'm doing this video. So two weeks from the, the 11th and 12th is the is the test, depending on your class, okay? All right, gang, that should be what, the uh, 25th or 
26th. 25th or 26th, does that sound right? 25th or 26th. Okay. All right. Good luck.